The story reflects the perspective of Nicholas Earth, a young Oxford graduate and aspiring poet. After graduation, he briefly works as a teacher at a small school, but becomes bored and decides to leave England. While looking for another job, Nicholas takes up with Alison Kelly, an Australian girl he met at a party in London. He goes on to accept a post teaching English at the Lord Byron School on the Greek island of Fraxos. After beginning his new post, he becomes bored, depressed, disillusioned, and overwhelmed by his life on the Mediterranean island, Nicholas struggles with loneliness and contemplates suicide. While habitually wandering around the island, he stumbles upon an estate and soon meets its owner, Maurice Conscious, a wealthy Greek recluse. They develop a sort of friendship, and Conscious slowly reveals that he may have collaborated with the Nazis during World War II. Nicholas is gradually drawn into Conscious's psychological games, his paradoxical views on life, his mysterious persona, and his eccentric masks. At first, Nicholas takes these machinations of Conscious, what the novel terms the God Game, to be a joke, but they grow more elaborate and intense. Nicholas loses his ability to determine what is real and what is artifice. Against his will and knowledge, he becomes a performer in the God Game. Eventually, Nicholas realizes that the reenactments of the Nazi occupation, the absurd playlets after Sade, and the obscene parodies of Greek myths are not about Conscious's life, but his own. <laughs>